My name is Elmer Eugene Browning, and I was born September the 10th, 1924. My father was a railroad worker, and him and my mother was divorced when I was so small. So all I knew was a good stepmother that I had. And she was wonderful. She took care of us as if we were her own. It was a hard life living in a railroad shack, but I've enjoyed such a wonderful life ever since. I spent my first 18 years going to school, trying to act like I was happy. And I, all the time, I was miserable. But as soon as I was 18, I enlisted in the old Army Air Corps. And life changed considerably. After basic training and, and mechanic school, I went to gunnery school because I thought, boy, this is going to be exciting. Little did it, I realized how exciting it was going to be. We flew as a complete crew put together up in Salt Lake City, Utah. And then we took our training in Dyersburg, Tennessee and got a pick. Then we left and went to Conley, Nebraska. And there we found ourselves a brand new B-17, most beautiful sight I ever had seen. We flew from there up through Labrador in Iceland, over across to Ireland, and then we crossed the Irish Sea and went down into England to be part of the 401st Bomb Group 615th Squadron. Just a few days later, we flew our first mission. <laughs> and the first time I ever crawled in that ball turret up in the air, turned on the power and rolled back. It felt like it had came loose, like it scared me to death. As an 18-year-old 18, 18 kid, it didn't take much to scare me anyway. So I finally got used to it, and we flew 32 missions over Germany and occupied territory. The worst one I can remember was uh, JU-88 Fighter Factory in Dessau, Germany, where we was hit by estimated 300 fighters. And they shot down 10 of our B-17s. And we claimed as a group that we had gotten 150 of their fighters. Now whether that was true or not, I got no way of knowing, but I only hope that it was true. After my sixth mission, I received the Distinguished Flying Cross. One of the proudest moments of my life. And you know, a lot happened when you're 18 years old and a lot that you never forget. In fact, we published a, when uh, my wife and I got married after the first wife had passed away and the second one had filed for a divorce and took me for everything I had. My last wife was so wonderful and she insisted that we publish a book and we ended up publishing this book and it was quite a success for which I am very thankful. And since coming to Georgia, we have met some wonderful folks and they have treated us like one of them. And even though 
back when I was a kid, I didn't feel like anybody, but everybody that I had met along the way has made me feel real good. We have uh, a, da a, a daughter, and I have two nieces that have come here special for this occasion. One from Texas and one from Colorado. I am proud of my family. And I feel reasonably sure that they are proud of me. Not for any accomplishment, but for who I am and who I want to be. And I don't expect anything special from anyone. I just love my country. I love my family. And I love my good friends. And one of them was a gunner in a tank by the name of Jim Stockton. One wonderful individual that I love like a brother. And I feel that he, he feels the same about me. So if you want any more stories, you'll have to get it out of the book that we have written. And it's entitled Elmer's Tomb in memory of our pilot, Elmer Gillespie. And I suppose, because my name is Elmer Eugene, my good friends call me Gene, and, and I feel that that's the way it should be. And I thank you very much for this opportunity, and I love every one of you. Thank you.